Hi, my name is Ellen Chang. I'm a sophomore in the college, majoring in anthropology and human biology, and minoring in predictive health. Today, I will be presenting Petrocelinum crispum, um, commonly known as parsley. So, Petrocelinum comes from the Greek phrase for rock celery, um, and this is because undomesticated parsley was found growing amongst rocks. And um, celery and parsley belong to the same um, family, the Apiaceae family. And parsley is native to the Mediterranean, but today it's cultivated worldwide, especially in the US, Europe, and Western Asia. And while it's most famous for its culinary uses, parsley has a lot of um, medicinally relevant compounds. <coughs> parsley is a biennial herbaceous plant that prefers the humid soil of sunny or slightly shaded areas. And um, the, leaf, the leaves are structured with two to three leaflets and with pinnated edges, as you can see here. And these are the two most popular varieties of parsley. This one is Italian parsley, also known as flat leaf parsley. And this one is curly leaf parsley. And parsley leaves are arranged in compound umbels, which are pollin cross-pollinated by wasps and hoverfly species. And parsley seeds take a long time to germinate, um, partly due to the really tough seed coating. And some people will accelerate this process by soaking the seeds overnight in warm water before planting. So parsley has a really cool um, history of symbolic use. The Greeks actually believed that parsley was sprung from the blood of Archimorus, who was the forerunner of death. So uh, it was really closely associated with death and given to the terminally ill and used in a lot of funeral rites. Um, they even dedicated the herb to Persephone, queen of the underworld and they believed that the long germination period was due to the fact that the seed would travel to and from the underworld many times before finally germinating. But gradually, um, it became a symbol of strength after the Greeks uh, would use, would adorn victors of battles and other competitions with parsley, sort of in memory of important predecessors. The Romans, on the other hand, used it to conceal body odor, so they would chew on parsley to hide bad breath. And they also believed that wearing parsley garlands would somehow prevent them from becoming intoxicated. So they would wear this um, at banquets and lots of celebrations. And of course, parsley has always been used um, in cooking. It's most associated with Italian cuisine, but it's used worldwide. My favorite parsley dish is tabbouleh. And um, the Hamburg variety is cultivated for its roots. And as you can see, it's very large. And this is very popular in European cuisine as well. So Hippocrates classified parsley as a diuretic. Um, in the Middle Ages, they used parsley compresses to treat arthritis. Um, they would drink wine boiled with parsley um, for chest pain. And actually, in the 1850s, uh, the US Pharmacopeia classified parsley as a laxative and a diuretic. So, so that's cool. And um, parsley infusions have also been used to regulate menstrual pain. The essential oil has been used topically to treat insect bites. And people have even massaged um, parsley infusion into their hair to stimulate hair growth. So there are three major um, compounds, well, medicinally relevant compounds in parsley. Myristicin is actually the same compound found in higher doses in nutmeg, and it has hallucinogenic properties in high doses. Apiol has abortifacient properties in apin. Um, it's much less studied, but it's the glycosidic form of apigenin, which has been shown uh, to prevent chemoresistance. So there's like a lot of potential for research with this compound. And the first two are phenolic compounds found in the essential oil. And the essential oil is found in all parts of the parsley plant. And also contains terpenes, which are responsible for parsley's characteristic aroma. And the seed coating uh, has, has a high ferrin and coumarin content which has allelopathic effects by inhibiting germination of nearby plants. And this mechanism is actually so effective that, as you can see with parsley's long germination period, you know, it's, it's very effective in preventing germination. So apiol and myristicine um, show, have shown free radical scavenging abilities. Um, parsley has also shown inhibitory of activity against Staphylococcusaurus and as well as other bacteria. And um, myristicine inhibits the production of nitric oxide and um, cytokines, and 
parsley essential oil has been shown to reduce B and T cell proliferation, giving it an anti-inflammatory anti properties. Um, parsley was shown, so they gave parsley water with um, parsley extract in it, and these rats had increased urine output, and this is through the inhibition of the sodium potassium ATPase um, activity. And parsley also had hypoglycemic effects in diabetic rats. Uh, they showed lower blood glucose levels and higher levels of the liver glutathione, which is an important antioxidant that mediates the effects of oxidative stress in the liver caused by um, diabetes. There are many clinical studies um, on parsley. There was one retrospective study that looked back at bone records made to a poison control center by women who ingested parsley with the intention of inducing abortion. And in three of the cases, they used parsley along with another plant called rue. And um, the end result was multiple organ failure. And in seven cases, they used parsley along with self-mutilation or prescription drugs. And um, the end result was abortion. Um, but the, the correlation between parsley and abortion in these cases is not conclusive but pregnant women should still approach parsley, not so much the herbs or the roots, but the essential oil with caution. Um, and parsley has um, been shown to have antioxidant levels in activity in humans. So there, they had two groups of people with the same diet, but one group had parsley incorporated into their diet. And this group had higher levels of apin, um, which they absorbed from the parsley. And these higher levels led to higher levels of GR and SOD, which are important antioxidant enzymes. Um, Contraindications. Um, so, like I said before, the herb itself and the roots are generally safe. Um, the problem is with the essential oil, which is highest in the seeds. Um, and these are due to the high levels of myrosin and apiol, and this can lead to gastroenteritis, headache, kidney, and liver damage. Um, and once again, APL can be an abortive patient, so pregnant women should avoid this. And I'll, so don't use essential oil in the parsley essential oil in cooking. And as always, just keep these things away from children because they're just more sensitive to things. And those um, who are with very sensitive skin may experience skin rash from handling parsley too much, just because of the high piranopurine content. Um, of course, if you have any allergies to plants in the APAC family, you should avoid parsley. And aspirin has, is said to increase the sensitivity, um, but it's not really sure. And then parsley has also been said to decrease the efficacy of warfarin, which is a blood thinner. And of course, if you're using parsley therapeutically as a diuretic, you should avoid using other diuretics because too much water loss can lead to complications. Currently, um, Parsley isn't prescribed or anything in the U.S., but it is very popular as an affordable diuretic, and its diuretic <coughs> properties make it um, a very popular ingredient in detox juices and health tonics. Um, but actually in Germany, parsley seed tea is used for high blood pressure and um, kidney stone treatment, but once again, you need to be careful because the therapeutic and toxic dosages are, are very similar. And of course, uh, parsley continues to be widely used as a condiment all over the world. So in conclusion, parsley is a really great functional food that can be easily incorporated into your diet um, and it'll help promote and maintain health, you know, due to the many properties we've seen like anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Um, but there is a need for more clinical studies because um, we need to t assess the, the therapeutic applications of parsley in humans and determine guidelines for what is an appropriate therapeutic dosage. And further research on the actual plant compounds could really impact human health. Um, for example, um, for APIN has potential significance for use in cancer therapy. And that's